Hello everyone. How to solve this maths Olympiad question? It is exponential equation. It is also 9 grade question. This question is a to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30. x is equal to what? How to solve this interesting maths question? So I'll come to Russell's classroom. Let's start. Our question is a to the power x. Look, our question is a to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30. Yes, this is our question. Then if I evaluate this equation, look, here is 8. 8 it will be 2 to the power 3 and whole to the power x plus and we know that here is 2 to the power x is equal to 30 yes then i can say easily this expression it will be 2 to the power x and whole to the power 3 plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30 because of that i just move on this exponent here and this exponent here according to exponential law it, we know that a to the power n and whole to the power m is equal to a to the power nm according to this law i can just move on this exponent inside the bracket okay now we'll find out it is 2 to the power x and this is 2 to the power x both are same so if i let look 2 to the power x is equal to p yes we are let 2 to the power x is equal to p so at this moment i can say easily this cubic equation it will be p to the power 3 plus p is equal to 30 yes so we are find out here is a cubic equation this equation it will be p to the power 3 plus p is equal to 30 but we need what is the value of p in this cubic equation okay so in this expression i can say easily this equation becomes p to the power 3 plus p minus 30 is equal to 0 yes i just move on this 30 here so it will be negative here is positive okay so this equation become p to the power 3 plus p and we need here is cubic value it will be minus 27 and minus 3 is equal to 0 look we know that 27 plus 3 it will be 30 and we know that minus 27 minus 3 it will be minus 30 yes then I can say easily this equation becomes look we'll find out here is p to the power 3 plus p and here is minus 27 it will be 3 to the power 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 yes we'll find out here is 27 27 it will be 3 to the power 3 so if I change the place in this equation we'll find out here is p to the power 3 minus p to the power 3 to the power 3 and here is plus p minus 3 is equal to 0 yes we'll find out here is an excellent equation so look here is p to the power 3 and here is minus 3 to the power 3 we know that a cube minus v cube it will be i minus v look this equation identity will be a cube minus v cube we know that a cube minus v cube it will be a minus b times a square plus a b plus v square yes if I follow this identity in this equation, in this equation, we'll find out here is PQ minus 3Q. It will be P minus 3 times P square plus 3P plus 9. Yes. And in this expression, I can say there is 1 is common. So it will be P minus 3 is equal to 0. If I follow this cubic identity, I can easily uh, PQ minus CQ, it will be this value. Plus, here is 1 is common, so it will be P minus 3. Then, I can easily, this equation becomes, look, here is P minus 3 is common. Yes, P minus 3. Then, this term divide this, it will be P square plus 3P plus 9. And here is this plus this, it will be 1 is equal to 0. Yes. Then I can say here is look p minus 3. Look, we'll find out here is p minus 3, and it will be p squared plus 3p plus 10 is equal to 0. So we'll find out here's two case. Our first case is p minus 3 is equal to 0, and we'll find out other case it will be p squared plus 3p plus 10 is equal to 0. Then we know that here is a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 10 yes but if i find out the b square minus 4 ac i can say easily we will find out it is real or uh, imaginary part okay b squared will be 3 square minus 4 times a times c is 10 so i can say easily it will be 9 minus 40 it will be minus 31 so minus 31 less than 0 so minus 31 less than 0 so at this moment we will find out it is 2 
complex solution because of this value is negative complex solution or imaginary part complex solution yes but here is no real solution so no real value okay so we we'll need the real value so in this expression loop p is equal to p minus 3 is equal to 0 so you know that here is p is equal to 3 yes i just move on this three in this side it will be positive three then we find out recall first of all we will add p is equal to 2 to the power x so i put this value in this expression i can say easily p to the power x is equal to three then if i use both side natural log we'll find out log 2 to the power x is equal to log three yes then i can say easily this exponent is move on in front it will be x log two is equal to log 3 then if I divide both side by log 2 we find out x is equal to log 3 divide log 2 yes then this expression it will be log 3 base 2 this is our final answer in this exponential equation in this math solved question and it is also nine get question okay let's check out our question is look first of all we take the value of x uh, x is equal to log 3 base 2 yes this is our value of x in this maths olympiad question but our question is e to the power x plus 2 to the power x is equal to 30 yes let's check so e to the power x i can say it will be 2 to the power 3x yes and it will be 2 to the power x is equal to 30. it is also nice question <laughs> yes so 2 to the power 3x 2 to the power 3x x x is equal to log 3 and here is 2 plus 2 to the power log 3 base 2 is equal to 30. yes now i can say this expression it will be 2 to the power log 3 base 2 and this x point value is move on here so it will be 3 plus 2 log 2 base 3 is equal to 30 yes then i can say easily uh, 2 to the power log 2 and here is 3 to the power 3 it will be 3 to the power 3 plus and in this expression 2 log 2 here is 3 it will be 3 is equal to 30 then we know that 3 to the power 3 i mean 3 times 3 times 3 it will be 27 plus 3 is equal to 30 so we'll find out here is 30 is equal to 30 so i can say easily x is equal to x is equal to log 3 base 2 this is our final answer in this math olympiad question thank you all if you enjoy this video to subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care